branched off volcanic system had some earthquake uh, recently and there was some uh, fear mongering uh, about the eruption and something that may threaten the capital Reykjavik. Uh, these earthquakes are at a depth of the five kilometer or four and a half kilometer like that. Thickness of the earth crust in that area is around 10 kilometers. So we have yet five kilometers more to reach the top of the mantle. Uh, this is a Brainstein fuel uh, volcanic system after Kristovik and uh, Fekudes fuel. Uh, it has one of the hot, uh, hottest spot points that is good for actually geothermal activity and uh, to absorb the energy and just make uh, electricity out of it. In the past, uh, some of the lava of it may have reached the vicinity of the Reykjavik, but they're not active uh, uh, only every 50 years or so you will see that these earthquakes happen. These are transferring the uh, movement from the western side of the Reykjavik uh, ridge toward the east. So they have to move, otherwise they just uh, uh, get compressed. They move also, and that is the pooling of the plates by the Eurasian plate and American plate uh, creating this. There are three Nukakigor or three craters, or three volcano. Uh, are one of the fascinating uh, tourist attract attractions in this area. This is a volcano which has been hollowed. Practically, you see the vent, volcanic vent, which has emptied is, uh, you know, lava. Lav lava have erupted and subsided and just left the cavity. You can go inside it and see what is going on. This is a, one of the only places in the world you can see that. And this is not far from the wreck where you can go there and... Uh, there are safety measures around this. You can go with a lift down that uh, uh, vent of the volcano. You have to rise to the level of the volcano first. This is a mountain. Then you go down again. 213 meter, higher than many hills in the United Kingdom, actually, or Netherlands, or <laughs> Denmark. And then when you reach the bottom of the crater, you can see that this is the magma chamber for that area, which has been eroded by the lava action. You can see actually what is the dike. You can see the dike and touch the dike. This is where the dike is from. All the geological features, the effect of the heat on the rocks, you can see that the discolorations due to the different minerals and different heating levels, like when you heat them for a piece of metal, for example. This is the most fascinating experience I've ever had, and that is what, what I think that you should go. This uh, fear-mongering actually caused people to go there and enjoy this site. Unique.